Hello Airsoft friends and welcome to this video today where today I'm going to be talking about customising your kit to make it work for you. Now I'm a very big advocate of customising your kit and making changes and upgrades and things like that and little tips and tricks just to make it, you know, something work more for you because everything in life or, or very, like, well nothing in life is really going to be perfect for you right out the gate and that's where the magic of human engineering ingenuity and creativity kind of coming to being because only you know what works for you you've got your own sizes your own shapes your ideas the own way that you want to use your own kit so it's ultimately best for you to you know get something and then uh if you have any issues with it don't just complain about it change it fix it make it better make it for you and that's something which i've been striving to do with my uh with my eye protection well it started that started it out with my eye protection anyway it then stretched to my face protection and then it went to my head protection and then it became like camera -ness, and uh, now it's also involving uh, communication as well so without further ado you've probably seen it in gameplays and stuff already but this is it kind of like super close up for you to, to view and enjoy but this is my headpiece that I wear when I'm uh, when I'm playing airsoft look at that just like that now I do get <laughs> the eye pro does look quite bashed in and that. Um, the reason for that is that I was testing it a lot years ago um, in, a, in a video I did. I was just shooting it point blank a ton to, to test the mesh out to see how it was. And you know what? It has done bloody well. I tell you that. <laughs> and I wasn't, to be honest with you, I wasn't sure how well what I did to this was going to work, which is why I wanted to use the bit of a naffy one instead. Um, and it ended up being really good, and now I'm just running it full time. So, yeah, good stuff. Good to see. Now, this does look a little bit janky as well, but you know what? It works. And for me, that's the most important thing. I'm not too fast if something looks the prettiest or looks, you know, the greatest. As long as it's functional and it's comfortable, then that's the thing for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly chuck this on, and I'm going to talk you through all of the individual components that make up what is, for me, like an essential thing. And if this was to go missing, I would completely rebuild this in the exact same way so hat off and then this thing uh, goes on there we go just like so and now I have got my full face protected I've got my eye protection on I've got my bump cap insert on my hat so if I take a headshot I can feel it but it doesn't hurt I've got my battery pack on the top which is also velcroed on so if I need to swap it for another one I can do that really easily and then just reattach it just like so I've got my cable for my GoPro all nice and tidily away I've got my little like casey thing for the GoPro which I do on the Project Airsoft website too so if you want a little kind of like case thing to protect your GoPro from Imprax and that's really good for you there got my max lens on there and recently the most recent addition is I now have my uh, a headset uh, mounted to the side of here with the microphone cable tied to the front of the mask just like so but the microphone is lifted away so it doesn't like scratch and be annoying for for people and I've got the cable um, at the perfect length to click into my comms pack so then when I'm looking around and something like that the cable does not get in the way at all and uh, yeah I'm fully set although it does look weird when I look that way and I can see, you know, like the, this, this is all kind of like covered up. When I look that way, I do feel like my ear or my right side of my face is a little bit less camouflaged or covered. So I'm actually a little bit tempted to get another one of these purely just to attach to the side of my head there um, to, to cover it up. But yeah, this is what I run. This is what I look like. And uh, this has been a few years in the works of like understanding what protection I want, where I want to put it, and uh, and then eventually kind of getting it all together. So this whole thing started off with me trying to work out a way in order to have my eye pro and face pro just be super comfortable and not have to really worry about it, you know, really clamping hard to my face. Because I just, that was the number one thing I hated. I hated the fact that I had this stuff all really hard clamping to my face. I'd get super sweaty. It was really uncomfortable. And I just didn't like all of this pressure being all over my face. So I was just like, wait a minute, I like wearing a cap. I've got a bump cap insert in there so my head's protected. There must be a way for me to combine this together. So initially I started off just where I attached the, the face pro here to the eye pro, cut the, uh, the face pro elastic off, and then the eye pro elastic would go around the back of the hat, and then boom, and I actually have one of those spare. This is the one that I, uh, I have just in case I wanna run this for, for any reason in particular. And this is quite handy because I can literally just put that on there just like so and now the eye pro is uh is on there it's the only thing that's like kind of like touching my head 
So my Face Pro is now still like all floaty and uh, and feels really comfortable. Like it doesn't like oh, my face is protected, but I don't feel like I've got loads of things attached to me. However, I wasn't a fan of the band because I'd often find I'd have to like move it around and that it would slide up and down my head, and it was something which was you know it was just inherently inconsistent, and that wasn't something which I really enjoyed or was a fan of. So even though this this works quite nicely, it wasn't quite exactly what I was going for and that's why I actually keep it in my spare whenever I go to airsoft I have this and I kind of I put it inside the helmet just like that along with the uh, the other bits of protection I take like I've got my hero shark glasses and I've also got my delta mic face covering too and that's my more casual if I'm not filming kind of setup that I'll that I'll run but if I am filming or going a bit ham or want to run comms or something like that then this is the setup that I use for that. So with the band going across the back of the hat, eventually I was just like, wait a minute, can I not just attach the face pro to the hat and then everything is gonna be okay? And then that's essentially what I did. I got my drill, I drilled some holes in the top here. So I've got cable ties going through there, another hole in the top there. So cable ties going through and just cable tied it on where, you know, what I felt was like the best place for it to be. And ultimately it's just sick. Like, it, it's just so comfortable. You do get a little bit of pressure on your face down here at the lower chin, but if you bend the mask up like that, then that kind of like takes it away and you, it just feels super snug. And you're just wearing a hat. All the pressure you've got on your head is purely just you wearing a hat. And uh, it's just the most comfortable thing ever. It's so, so nice. And then from there, I needed to mount my GoPro. So between the bump cap insert on the inside, which is linked down below, by the way, on the Amazon list, £5.50 for these, and they're awesome. I would happily pay 50 quid for this insert. It genuinely, it will change your life, okay? I, I'm not even, like, joking. It would legit change your life. So between um, between the front of the bump cap and the hat itself, I've got a GoPro mount that I, uh, I printed off and, uh, and mounted in there as well. I 3D printed that, so I've got my GoPro mounted in there at the perfect angle, put my little... Um, protective cover on there as well so if my gopro gets shot at the front it'll protect it stop it from getting broken and then yeah i fit some velcro to my battery pack and i've got another one around there has this got velcro? this one doesn't have velcro on it i have another one over there which does have velcro on so if i do need to swap out during the day all i need to do is that but these battery packs they're 12,000 mah and they actually last for like two cameras over three days so i don't feel like i'm ever going to need to swap that out during a game day but i like to have the option and also just as like a mounting method there's already velcro on the top there so it's easy for me just to add some velcro to the battery pack and then boom we're all good to go and then finally the last piece of the puzzle was the uh the the ear protection or the the, the comms setup so essentially i was running it with the elastic that went over the front one over the top and then one around the back and it was just faff like b going to the game zone putting it on put on the headset on and then having or putting the head helmet head cap thing on and then having to put that over the top it was just a faff so i was like well let's figure out where we want it to go and then let's just attach it so i first of all got the microphone where it wanted to go where it was comfortable attach that to there and then attach that back point there and then figured i may as well just expand that out because then that gives me a little bit more protection on my face too instead of it just being all flappy and then it stops the uh, the headset from moving around loads too and then i decided to do it on the other side as well just mount this up to that top corner there too just to give my cheeks a little bit more of a protection and then that brings us to just having this as a as a full unit there and yeah super happy with it i am like genuinely it's so good to be able to just you know get to airsoft know that you've got a game ready to go out just put this on and already i know that my comms are in the right place my helmet's in the right place my camera's in the right place my face is protected my eyes are protected and i don't have to faff about with anything else it literally is my rigging goes on my hat goes on and then this goes into the uh the connector for my for my radio and then boom i don't have to worry about anything else everything is already taken care of i'm all good to go i'm all safe i can see and uh yeah everything else is great there is one thing that I would like to change, and that would be to be able to remove like the hat or protection on like when a game finishes when walking back to spawn. It's only a little thing though, and to be fair, in the grand scheme, it's not a really big deal. But it is so so nice. Like uh, when I run my casual rigging, when I've got my hero shark on and I've got my delta mic, when the game finishes, just pulling the delta mic down and taking my hat off and just kind of like 
being able to relax that, you know, that few minutes earlier before, you know, getting that walk back. And most sites, it's not really an issue. There's some sites where the walks back to spawn are quite long and it would be nice to, to be able to relax and chill a little bit earlier, like Reforger, for example. The walk backs to spawn are pretty darn long, but, you know, again, this is just, a, you know, a first world problem. Oh, I wish I could take my mask and my hat off a few minutes earlier. Oh, so I don't expect that's going to be a big problem for me. But anyway, coming back around to the main start thing, customize your kit. Make sure it's still safe, though. Like, I've been very vigilant to make sure that my eyes are still adequately safe with, uh, with the protection in there that's like this. But this thing here, it's just, ah, uh, it's absolutely fantastic. I love it. It does look janky but it does work really well. And you know what? I may make a nice fancier one, like buy a new face mask, buy a new eye pro, buy a new hat, and uh, and just make a, a nicer, cleaner, fancier one at some point in the future, like when the hat finally falls apart. Because you can see I have cut it up quite a bit and uh, it is, you know, it's, it's hanging in there, but I don't expect it to last forever. But at some point, I will indeed uh, swap it out and, uh, and make a fancy, shiny new one. But for the meantime, anyway, it does the job. It does the job well, and I'm super happy with this. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video today and maybe got a few ideas on what you can do to customize your own kit to make it uh, more enjoyable and easier to use for you. Huge shout out as always to all my wonderful patrons for supporting the channel month on month. Without you guys, I would not be able to do this. So I really do genuinely appreciate all of the, uh, all of the support that you guys give. And yeah, I, I bloody love you. Thank you all very, very much. Also, big shout out to the Stay Fresh US of Discord community. Link below. Check it out. If you want to make some airsoft friends, click it, get it involved, get in there. And uh, yeah, you'll have a fantastic time. Make some friends. And hey, find some more people to go play airsoft with because that's what we're here for. That's what we like to do. Play airsoft, make friends, and then play airsoft with those friends. And until next time, thank you all very much for watching. Remember to call your hits and I'll see you in the next one.